also just update you, uh, last night I didn't do any filming, which is not normally like me to do that. Um, oh, food's coming. Food's coming. Hi. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, so it's very unlike me not to do any filming on an evening. Um, and the reason for that, as you know, Rachel wasn't too great yesterday. She had been sick that evening. Obviously, I'm okay. So I, I went downtown to go and grab some food, and my intention was to come straight back. You know, go, go and get some food, come back, and then just all have the evening here. So I ended up having a table for one at a restaurant that we ate at last night. And I got sat next to this American guy who was also traveling alone. He's in his 60s, traveling for three weeks, and we just got chatting over food um, for the next sort of hour or so. Had a few beers. Um, one thing I forgot to mention to you about until last night, um, they also gave us some free mango daiquiri shots. For some reason, we had two each. Um, so they went down a tree. Uh, and I came back, new day today. Just literally had some breakfast, as you've seen. Hello, right. Um, and we head to Porta Princesa in about an hour's time, so um, we'll catch up with you en route. raving about how good this is so I feel a bit disappointed I didn't get a chance to try it last time. Oh. Very fitting inside. Mm. It's really sweet. It's not as strong as you think it'll be as a mango flavour. I wouldn't go absolutely mad for it. It's a bit like the apple pie thing, I guess. It's, you know, if you like this sort of thing, then it's really great. But I gotta have a cake, or some chocolate, or some ice cream. So we're the first time I've ever used a laundress on holiday. But we're down to our last few bits now, so we kind of need to get a refresh. So that's all sorted now. and dropped off our laundry. We'll be ready at 6 p.m. by 6 p.m. tomorrow. And I'm kind of hoping that's okay with Rachel because. I've got these clothes I can wear, maybe another couple of t-shirts, but I have no idea what she's got. And if she hasn't got any clothes, then uh, we're going to have to go and buy some more, I think. So today's the earliest of our get-ups. It's now about half seven, and we're due to get a lift to uh, the Underground River tour today. We're due to get back sometime in the afternoon, around four o'clock, I think. Um, so we're just waiting for our pickup. We're not even sure what to look out for. The car's just pulled up. Don't know if it's for us. They've been bonged the doorbell. Might be for us. YouTube. Hey YouTube, Dan here from EAP Films Official and that's right I am here in the Philippines currently in Palawan uh, at Ugong Rock. That's how you pronounce it. So 
So it's gone a little bit cooler now the clouds are out, which is a relief. Um, gives us a bit of refuge from the heat. We've kind of bypassed uh, the food. Everyone's gone for lunch at the moment, but we weren't that hungry. It's all sort of you know fried food or boiled food, and we just wanted something cold and refreshing. So instead, we just brought a drink. And we've walked to here, this is the basketball court, this is the area where you get the tickets and you meet your tour guide and all that kind of stuff and get on the boat. Uh, just waiting for the other guys, so we're just here having a little chillax a little bit. So we are on, or going in, I should say, the underground river tour. Just pulled up to this island, which I've been told contains monkeys, which will be fun. Uh, so I had a bit of a concern that I left my bag on the boat because I assumed it would wait for us. Then it started pulling away, and I was nervous because I've got literally everything in there: money, passports, my phone, my laptop, my drone. Everything's in there, except obviously this camera and my. J4, so hopefully we don't get attacked by monkeys. Waiting to get on our boat, and it's probably the last bit of cubing we'll have to do today to get into the cave. Um, no idea how long we've got to wait. Just gonna wait until our tour guide tells us to.
In the space of all this time we've seen nothing and then in like a few short seconds got ourselves a little dragony thing here. That's a pretty big beast. Pretty rainy out here. Oh, it's torrential. This is our first day in Mobile. Our pickup should be here pretty much now. Take us to Asmin Peak for a hike up the highest point of Cebu. And we're promised wonderful views. Find the tallest thing on Cebu.